Hey guys, so I'm going to talk about my DJI Osmo Action 4 after having it for around six months. So to give you a, a real like world review of me using it on shoots. So I've done about 15 shoots and used it on all of them. Love just how small and compact it is. It's so easy to travel with. I love the mount on it as well, which makes it so easy as well to travel with. So usually my smallest and most used thing for vlogging is this little selfie stick here. So basically just snap it in with the magnetic mount and then this extends out so I can use it for vlogging. It's got a tripod stand at the bottom so I can just set it down if I want to. So that's super easy. I use this the second most, maybe just as much. So this is the DJI uh, selfie extender stick thingy. This goes out to about five foot um, and I just stick it on like that. There we go. Um, so I have this to record all time lapses, hyper lapses, behind the scenes footage, super easy to use. Another really handy thing is this was super cheap. So this is a backpack strap. Um, so basically I just have that sat on my shoulder of my backpack and then I record hyperlapses and time lapses and behind the scenes with this when I walk into a location, super cheap and super easy to use. I have, because the Action 4 is uh, waterproof or can be waterproof up to 60 meters, I think I've got a floating handle thing in case I drop it and it falls to the bottom of the sea and I don't want to dive down to the bottom, which I definitely don't, so I've got that. A small little gimbal for it because there is no gimbal on the Action 4, like the Pocket 3, um, even though it does have rock steady um, stabilization, which is super, super great for handheld footage. The gimbal's just cool, so I can get different angles with it. This also does like 360 inception, which I find very cool as well. So I've got a little gimbal. All this like fit in my man bag, so like all this can just fit in there and I can just have it around my shoulder and take it with me anywhere. So super handy how small everything is. Um, other feature I absolutely love is the DJI Mic 2. So this guy works wirelessly. Um, with the Action 4. So basically you turn the Action 4 on, you turn this on and it automatically connects and gives you great audio. This has got a magnet on it like this, so it just sticks to your chest here. Um, or you can just clip it on. Um, so this is super handy. Another feature that I've just found out about this, which I'm not sure if you guys know, is that you can actually start and stop recording with the link button on the side of it. So this button here, you can start and stop record, which is super handy. It does have voice control on the Action 4, so you can um, start and stop, but it's very limited. So you can only start and stop, and you can only start it in 4K 120. You can't stop it in 4K 120, which is a bit weird. Um, so I just used the remote on the microphone. I love that, like I just said, it does 120 frames a second. So for some super smooth slow-mo, which is really cool, it shoots in D-Log M, which is DJI's flat color profile. It's also 10 bit, so these things make it great for color grading um, in post production. I use DaVinci Resolve, no problems. Uh, colors look amazing from the footage. It also has a quick mode on the side, quick button. Um, so I've set this up, it can cycle through a few different things. So I have the so it goes C1, C2, C3, they're the ones I use. So C1 is your basic 4K, uh, 24 frames a second or 25 frames a second. And then C2, when I press it again, goes to my slow-mo, so 120 frames, and press it again for C3, it, um, is set up for my hyperlapses and time lapses. So super quick and super easy. So it has a relatively large sensor for an action camera. Um, so it's good for low light. The footage looks amazing from it. Um, okay, so it's not a full frame camera like my 7.4 is that I'm shooting on now, but the footage it looks, um, it gives looks really good. So I'm very happy with that. So some of you might be wondering what it's like compared to the Pocket 3. So I've used the Pocket 3 in a couple of times. I don't own one, but I've used one a few times. So the Pocket 3, which I love that the Action 4 doesn't do is obviously it's already on a gimbal. So you don't need to get a gimbal for it. Also, I love the active track from it. So you set it up and it follows you around, which is great for when you're solo shooting yourself, which the Action 4 doesn't do. It's also small and light, um, but it's not quite as small as the Action 4. It can't go underwater like the Action 4 can and it looks, it's a bit flimsy. So I've dropped the Action 4 loads and it's been fine. I wouldn't think the same for the Pocket 3, although the Pocket 3 is great. 
um, the Action 4 is a lot cheaper, but I'm still considering getting an Action uh, a Pocket 3 too, just because. Also, the price of this thing is super cheap. It's like under 300 pounds, which is like a bargain for something that can do 4K 120, and it does D-Log M, and it's 10-bit, and it does time-lapse and hyper-lapse, and it's small, um, so all great things, um, which is a bargain really for the price. And yeah, like I mentioned, I've used it on like 15 shoots now. And because it's so easy to set up, I've used it on every shoot and it's not a problem at all. It like takes me about 30 seconds, if that, to set the shot up and start recording. So that's a great thing. I didn't think I'd use it this much, but because it's so easy, I use it all the time. So it's definitely going to stay in my kit bag and I'm definitely going to keep using it all the time. Um, like I said, I've done about 15 shoots of it. I've also shot on some hot countries. I've shot on Morocco and Marbella where it's absolutely boiling. Um, I had no overheating issues ever. I mean, I don't think you would, it's so small, but yeah, I've recorded for ages on it and never had any problems with that too. So I hope you found the short review helpful. If you liked it, please like and subscribe and I will try and do more behind the scenes and videos of my shoots. Thanks for watching, peace.